Hello dear viewer, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video lecture, the topic under discussion is Trichorius trichora or whipworm. Let's start the lecture. The Trichorius trichora is commonly known as whipworm, which is common name of this worm due to its structure. It looks like a whip with wider handles at posterior end. Trichorius trichora is round worm that cause trichoriasis. Trichorius trichora belongs to metazoan kingdom, phylum nematoda and infect human large intestine. Now the adult male and female worms of Trichorius trichora. Female worms are larger than males, approximately 35 to 50 mm long compared to male worm which is about 30 to 45 mm in length. Their eggs are ellipsoidal to barrel shaped or oval shaped which size is 50 to 70 micrometer in length by weight they are 25 to 35 micrometer. Now the symptoms of Trichorius trichora infection they include dysentery or bloody diarrhea, painful or frequent defecation, abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, headache, Next, sudden and unexpected weight loss, fecal incontinence or lack of control feces or inability to control defecation, growth retardation, weight loss, nutritional deficiencies and anemia due to long lasting or long standing blood loss. Now we have epidemiology of Trichorius trichora. Epidemiology is worldwide distribution of Trichorius trichora infection with an estimated 1 billion human infections. However, Trichorius trichora infections found in all continent, especially in Asia countries most commonly and to lesser degree in South Africa and South America. Within in the United States, the infections are rare overall but may be common in the rural southeast where 2.2 million people are thought to be infected. Poor hygiene is associated with trichoriasis as well as the consumption of shaded moist soil or food that may have been fecally contaminated. And children are specially vulnerable to infection due to their high exposure risk. Then we have life cycle of Trichorius trichora. The life cycle start when the female lay eggs in large intestine of an inf infected man or human. In second step these eggs are carried out in the feces to environment. If these eggs are landed on warm and moist soil for two to three weeks, larva in eggs complete development in the environment and are infective ready to be ingested. The eggs get inside you if you eat contaminated unwashed and uncooked foods. In fifth step, the larva hatch in small intestine and invade in intestinal villi and stru start regrowing. After a while, move to the large intestine where they penetrate the mucosa and develop into adults or mature male and female worm. Only the head part of the worm is threaded into the intestinal wall and the posterior end is hanging freely. This posterior end is ready to mate if another wimp worm of the opposite sex possesses by and the life cycle will complete if female and male mate and eggs are produced at the rate of 2000 to 10,000 eggs per day and the cycle from eggs to mature adult takes a few months. Then we have pathogenesis of Trichorius trichora. The pathogenesis caused mostly male worm when reached to this intestine. They cause local enteric disturbance. 
to systemic condition and occasionally death the interior end of the adult worm are embedded in the large intestine and sucks fluids nutrients and blood this head insertion may cause significant trauma to the mucosa with chronic hemorrhage leading to dysentery and anemia the pathogenesis has been related to host inflammatory responses which involve markedly reduced cell mediated response and elevated immunoglobulin e responses characteristic of local tissue anaphylactic responses if the infection have been persistent it is associated with malnutrition growth retardation and reduced memory in children most commonly chronic infection can leads to iron deficiency anemia which may cause clubbing nail heavy infection may produce tenesmus which is the urgency or feeling of defecation due to peristalsis movement and possibly suffer rectal prolapse then we have diagnosis diagnosis can be done through wet mount preparation that is microscopic examination to detect barrel shaped and unembryonated eggs these eggs have bipolar plugs and smooth shell colonoscopy has been shown to be a useful diagnostic tool especially in patient infected by only a few male worms with no eggs presenting in the stool sample also diagnosis can be done through immunoglobulin e antibody detection then we have prevention prevention is achieved by improper facilities for disposal of feces have decreased the incidence of whipworm proper hand washing before food handling also avoid ingestion of food that may have been contaminated with eggs containing soil next is treatment option how well we treat trichorhias trichora infection the drug of choice is mebendazole alternative drugs can be used the highest clearance rate are obtained by combining mebendazole albendazole with ivermectin the combination therapy exhibit better cure and eggs reduction also iron supplement can be used for microcytic anemia thanks for watching